Hello, hello. Let's get you all up here. Whew, I got it on the first time. Look at that. How is everybody today? Now if we can get it up on here, that would be fun. Did it come up? Yes. Look at that. Come on in and say hi, everybody. We got a lot of projects today. And I'm going to tilt that down more so you'll be able to see more of this. But I wanted to say hi to everybody before I did that. Let me move those little guys. So, hey, hey. Put you down here. Come on in and say hi. Oops. I need that paint for what we're going to do. I need that too. Jeez. I'm just all thumbs. Just all thumbs today. So say hi so I know you're here. Oh, this table is a mess, you guys. A mess, a mess, a mess, a mess. A mess, a mess. A mess. So. And we got a lot to do today. A lot. And some of it will go really quick. And then some of it's going to thick a little bit. So we're going to do a couple of little projects today. You can see I've got kind of things all over the table. And my little cushions. I swear, I keep saying I'm going to go buy a new chair. You know how that goes. You know how that goes. So say hi. Hi, Teresa. How are you? I got a computer here hooked up to the ring light, which has the phone, which is hooked up to the cord, which is hooked up. There's a plug for the iPad. I'm like, I'm like all over the place here. How are y'all doing today? Hi, Linda. Hey, Teresa. Guys, say hi. Whoop. Whoop. Court and the cord. Maybe I could put it here. So it's kind of out of the way. Hello, Barbara. Oh, purple, my favorite, from my favorite color is purple. All right, so we have a lot of projects, and some of them, like I said, are going to be really quick. But first, thank you for coming to Nona's Nutty Crafts, and I'm Caroline. Yay! <laughs> I know I haven't been on a while. Um, a lot's been going on, a lot. Um, I did one virtual sale and did really well, and I have another one coming up next weekend, Friday, and I'm going to be the first one on. Um, oh, glad to see you too, Teresa. Um, so I've been busy, 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 and I've had to homeschool my, or virtual homeschool my granddaughter. Um, and it's the first time I've been doing that. So this week has been kind of crazy because I couldn't get into some of the programs. So, oh good God. It's, it's just one of those times. So we're going to go, hey Tracy, how are you my friend? So we're going to start off with something that's really easy to do, okay? So what I'm going to do, you're not going to see me anymore. I'm going to angle the camera down so you can see more of the table. Do you like my little banner going down there? My son did that for me. Don't ask me how. He did it. So we're, I'm going to angle the camera down. So hold on, it's going to be a little rocky boat. I could do this with one finger and let's see how far we go or if I have to come up so hold on I think that should be good let me just make you guys straight hopefully I won't touch the volume okay that looks pretty good yay I'm doing great Tracy um <laughs> frantic you know because I am in a virtual show then I'm in a live marathon the weekend after so I'm like crafting like crazy so let's start with something really easy that anybody can do okay the first thing is this angel now I got these last year and I got it I think it was a Hobby Lobby right it comes plain so to speak and what we're gonna do is dress it up now, the first thing I did, I, you could use any kind of bows or, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, Shirley has the wings and all. So for me, I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking. Hey, hey, Emily. I'm 
so happy, Emily. My stuff is on its way. Hey, listen, Emma, I, I make masks, okay? But Emily had some really, really cute ones, and I can't say what they are in case my daughter pops on. I'm doing great. Yeah, it's happy Friday. Um, so um, they're on my way. On my way. I couldn't resist. They're going to be Christmas gifts, maybe Halloween. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this angel. Now, if you look at the bottom of this, this is great to use for two things. You can use it as a tree topper or sell it as a tree topper, or if you just want to sell it as something that will stand on a mantle or someplace else, um, it works great. So I've created the bow and I just used pipe cleaner. Very simple bow, right? Nothing fabulous because I didn't want it to overcome. Now you can do gold, silver, whatever you want, but kind of rustic. So I wanted to stay with that rustic theme. Hello. Oh, is Tom here? Hi, Tom. How are you? Hey, Tracy. So I made a little halo. Now you can see I bent it. And that's because what we're going to do, I'm going to thread it in here. And I'm, I, now you could do halos that stick up like that, you know, if you want them to. You could do it where it sits more down on the head. Up to you what you want to do. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm choosing to use... I made a little bit of a stem, so to speak, and I, what I'm going to do is stick it in here, kind of weave it in there, just enough, and we're going to glue it, okay? Let me get my, oh, I should put my happy fingers on. Ooh. Happy, happy, happy fingers. Good morning. Hi, Amy. Hey, Amy, I hope there's no more wind over there. Good golly, Miss Molly, right? But I'm glad you guys all survived that. Now, I don't want this to stick up like so high like that. So that's why I bent it a little bit and I want to bring it down so our halo stays like that. And my reason being that whoever gets this after time, I don't want this to whip off on them. So I just bent it enough and we're going to just glue it right there. There's one, whoops, got to get it in the right spot. I want to have a crooked halo. They think she's been out, you know, partying all night. Good Lord. All right. Oh, I should have my happy fingers on. Okay. So we just hold it there for a few seconds. Blow. All right. So see, her halo is like that. Now I can take it. Let me get my happy fingers out here before I wind up burning the jujubes out of them. Of course, I put it on this finger, and it's this hand I should put it on. And then I can angle it up just a little bit. So see, it's just angled up a little, right? Now, here in the bow, you can make another loop, you know, if you want to. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Deborah. look at, oh, you can't see now. I'll duck down. See my hair? <laughs> I made it darker <laughs> for the winter just like yours so anyway you can do something as a little embellishment in here so this one I have a little star and this was a button and I thought it would look really pretty you know because the you know, angels live up in heaven there's a lot of stars up there so all I'm going to do is stick that little star right in the middle there yeah you have to go back to the beginning. Hey guys, do that. Um, bless my page. It, you know, have your friends come play with us. Girl, this is a lot darker. I have to. I'll send you pictures later of what I look like. I'll tell you. I have to tell you guys the story. <laughs> oh my God, my day yesterday. Let me just finish with this. So see how just that little star in there with the car, with that and see. And look, she's done. Done, 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 done. Hey, Lorraine. How are you, my friend? So, all done. So, we're going to put her off to the side here. Whew. Easy craft, right? Now, here comes the real fun ones. So, I'll let me tell you the story. I'll, well, how can I tell you the story? I guess I could tell you as I'm doing this. All right. So, let me tell you this, and then as I'm making his arms, I'll do it. Look at this little fun jolly guy. Isn't he cute? I made him. Dun, dun, dun. I, 
I just love this little guy. So styrofoam, I put, look what I put on the bottom. I had to do, I didn't want to do just white or black. I had to make it funky. Cord wrapped around styrofoam. I had to cut the styrofoam. This is a half of a ball and another half of a ball. I'm getting the glue strings that I see. And I went ahead and I had on this one, I kind of cut it down a little bit. Now you can make it more rounded. You could do whatever. I, I just like my plumpy little snowman. Up to you, right? Do the cord, wrap it around. This took a long time. The cord that I used, I have it in a bag. Let me show you because I saved all the stuff. This is the cord. It's, I don't know, it's a cotton craft cord. And of course the one I got was white. Let me see if I got this in front and frame here. Watching on my lunch break, we'll have to, yes, please. Isn't he cute, Tracy? He, everything I have here is, you know, is viable. <laughs> so, um, he said, and this is the skew. Got him at, I got the cord at Hobby Lobby, just to let y'all know that. Is that close enough for y'all? Can y'all see that? Oops. Oop. Maybe that's closer. But if you go to where they have all kinds of cords and stuff like that, um, I know there's a glare. It just says cotton white. This comes in how many feet? 24 inch diameter, six millimeter, 50 feet. I didn't use all of it, but it was pretty close. Um, but go, and they have it in different colors, so you can do him on whatever you want to do. All right, so wrap the cord, glued, a lot of glue. I What I did with his head, I used skewers, and I glued the skewers up into his head, and then I glued it down into his body so that he wasn't just glued on, so that he'll stay on. I mean, he's pretty... He's pretty good in there. <laughs> so then I took buttons. Now you could do whatever. You could find a carrot if you want it to stick out, whatever. I chose to use buttons. So I went through my button stash and then I gave him on his little scarf here. I put a little, little funky button there. But this was material that I bought and I just, you know, ripped it. And then what I did down here, all I did is, you know, you just pull, well, I pulled the wrong one. Um, you pull to make it fray. I don't know what this fell. Oh, the cover to this. That's okay. Oh, the paint again. And you just pull it from the bottom pieces. Let me see if I can find one. And it pulls it off so you get that fraying, which is what I wanted. Now you could go buy something that's already pre-done and everything else. It's up to you. But I wanted to use this little plaid, you know, like it was something you found, you know, part of dad's shirt or something. The earmuffs, I made these as well. All I did is cut out, um, I don't know what I used. Oh, I did. I took my ribbon, laid it on the fabric, cut it around. So, do you know how you make the pumpkins? Everybody makes the pumpkins. You sew the edges here. Isn't he cute? Size of the balls. I knew somebody was going to ask that. Hey, Barbara, Amy, thank you. Let's find out the size of the balls. Again, you can make this any size you want, okay? So, the bottom ball measures eight, eight, whoops, almost eight and a half inches, eight and a quarter inch diameter on the bottom ball. The next one measures approximately, let's say eight. Well, he's not eight inches. Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, he's it's almost it's eight and a half on the bottom. So circumference on the bottom. And the top one is about seven. But Again, you can make them whatever. If you want to make them more so you see more roundness to them, you know, the rest of his body or whatever, you can do that. So the earmuffs, I just took fabric. Like I said, I laid the fabric down, put this around, cut it around, and I just sewed the edges and drawstringed it. Now, when, back in my day, we used to call those yo-yos. <laughs> um, I don't know what they call it now. Pumpkins, maybe. And then I stuffed it. That's all I did. And then I glued them suckers right onto his ears. And I wanted them to be matching to his scarf. You know, you got to have matchy-matchy, right? 
So this part, earmuffs. Now you can do a hat. I didn't find a hat I liked or that was the right size. So that's why I did him in earmuffs. This is two pipe cleaners that I twisted together and then I just stuck them in. So that's that, but he is missing arms. So we got to do his arms y'all. So, you know, when you, this is, um, jute and it has a wire in it. Okay. So what I did, I kind of, I took one and I folded it and all I did was twist it because he has like twiggy arms. Now you can do whatever you want and I want his arms to stick here and this way I can bend his arms, do whatever I want with his arms and I'm going to stick it right, it's going to go right where his neck goes in and that's where I want to stick it in to have his arms. All right. So all I did is I took this piece here, squeezed it together. And then I just twisted it. I should have done it the other way. Hold on. I want to keep his, the end piece as even as possible. Let me twist it this way. Because for whatever reason, you twist it the other way, it all comes wonky. All right. And I just twisted it up. And however it ends is how it ends. Right? That's it. That's his arm. So we got to put his arm in there. So I'm going to put him right where his ears are. Let me turn him around. Oh, maybe I'll put him a little bit lower. Because it shouldn't really be in his neck. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> so I'm going to put him about halfway down on his sides here. I think it would be better not. He's not Frankenstein. He doesn't need bolts out of his neck. He needs them down here. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I caught myself before I did that one. So what I'm going to do, now I haven't done this before, so y'all bear with. I need this. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me get my skewer. That? that will work better. Oh, come on. Where are you? So I like using this. It's this skewer. Right? So where am I going to go again? About halfway down, give or take. And since this is just styrofoam, and that will help make my hole. Now, because it's in between there, glue down in there. Pray this works. Good. He's got one arm. Yay. Now it's going to be fun to match it up on the other side. Go to a ear muff. I got one, was it one, two, three, four, five? I'm counting up three, four, five. I probably should have put the hole in first. Hold on, please. Okay. And make a little hole in there. Isn't he cute, Lily? He will be for sale. All right, so let's put some glue in there. And the reason why I didn't do these on a live or him on a live is because I really wasn't sure how he was going to turn out. So that one I went in a lot easier because I think I made the hole bigger. All right, so now he has arms. So I'm going to let the glue dry a little bit and then we can bend his arms. Of course, me being fanatic, I want to make sure they're about even and they are. Look at how cute. If you want to make a little broom, you could put a broom in them. Oh, I see another glue string, but I don't want to do that. Oh, here come the fire trucks again. Yeah. All right. Isn't he cute? And voila, you have a cute little snowman. And again, I put felt on the bottom. Ah, oh, thank you for the hearts, you guys.
because so that he can be used anywhere. You can put his centerpiece, use him as a centerpiece if you want to, and you can put some of the little snowflakes and some greenery around him, and he would look really cute, or put him on your coffee table, whatever. All right, so he's done. So we're gonna move him out of the way. Hopefully I won't have to go back into the closet. Done. So, but he does take a little bit of time to do all the wrapping around on him. Now I'm going to show you one, but we're not going to do this today. We're going to do this, um, I'm saving this to do another day with you guys. It might, might be tomorrow, I don't know. So this way, you, if you want to do this, isn't he adorable? You can go get some. These are burlap sacks. I found them in the wedding section at Hobby Lobby. I think it's 8 or 10 per pack. Um, I tried spray painting it didn't really work it got so absorbed so I had to go back and I just kind of painted over with white he's a rustic snowman he's not supposed to be like white white like this he's rustic okay took a, I have this curled up right now um, just to protect the bottoms so um, there he comes with two drawstring things <laughs> so I draw a string them really tight and then when I did, I wrapped them around and tied it, okay? Um, because I didn't need those little strings hanging off. And then I cut off the excess. I glue, I stuffed him and glued the bottom together. If you guys saw my video, I did a Frankenstein one um, with these. So go back, you can see how I did it there. Now, the thing was, what was I going to do for his head? I could put a hat on like this, but I thought, eh, I didn't like that. So what I did, I kind of stuffed it all in there, right? I put a ribbon here. I cut the ribbon in half. And I'll go over this when we paint it because we got to paint his faces. So I'm going to do that with you guys. But I wanted to do this other project first with you. But I want to show you some things I've been working on that we're going to do. We're going to put a face on him, glue his hat, and we're going to make him into ornaments. All right? So that's going to be a project we will finish doing with you. But this is the main project that we're going to do today. Or one of them, I should say. And we're going to start with this one. So these are trees. They were trees, or are trees. Um, where do I get these? Um, Hobby Lobby, I think. Yeah. And what I did, I painted them all white. And then these are napkins. Decoupage. Um, and I did it because there's a reason why I want to do black and white. So this one, um, I've already pre-sanded already. This has been sealed here, sealed here. I haven't sealed the whole thing yet because I did take it outside and very little I took off the edges because we're going to stain this. And I sanded here. You could see where the you know, natural wood came through. Don't sand these. And we're going to go ahead and stain this. So that's one project we're going to do. But before we do that, I wanted to show you how I decoupaged it. So I still have one more here I have to do. Now some of you may know how to decoupage already. Um, and some may not. I have some napkins here. I'm going to see that I cut up. These should be big enough. One of these. Hopefully. Now when you do these, you have to peel the napkin off because there's a back to it. And you don't want that. Now, I did this first. I had done the bottom, and then when I did the top, I realized I didn't line it up. I kind of had it off-centered, <laughs> which was okay. It was still kind of cool. But me being as the way I am, it had to line up. So what I did, I just kind of, oh, well, I know we have to go to here. My fan is blown above, and it's driving me crazy. And let's see how far. Ooh. Don't go over there. Don't worry. Um, how far over I have to go. And this is called an eyeball. Okay, to the to the crease. Alright. Hopefully we'll do this on one shot. And I won't mess it up. Because if you rip this, you got to take it off. Which is what I had to do. Take it off. Resand it. Paint it again. And that's a pain in the derriere. So to speak. All right, so 
You're probably asking, why is she doing the tree in black and white? Because I felt like it. That's <laughs> really what it was. So this is Maj Paj. Um, there's ones that, this is matte finish and there's also glossy finish. So depending on what you want to do um, or get or your ending um, product as far as how it goes. I chose matte because um, I know I'm going to seal this. And I don't do most things in um, shiny. It just all depends what I'm doing on. If I want it to look country-like, I use the matte. Okay, set you in there. Let me go on that one. Don't let the glue all over the table. There you go. All right, so now we gotta play the matchup game. I gotta stand up to see from above. Trying to get the lines as close as possible to where the ones are down below. It would help if I cut a straight line, but that doesn't matter because when we sand it, it's going to come off. All right. I don't know where it ended, but right there. So, what I do just to get some of this off, I'll go ahead and cut it. This side's a pain because you know how you're a lefty and a righty and it goes crazy. See, it's wonky, <laughs> but that's okay. And then I'll cut it as close as I can to where the opening is. Where's my brush? And let me move this. Now, if you put too much of this paste on your product, what happens is, is that the paper will start um, peeling away, you know, ripping, in other words. So you want to make sure that you don't use a lot, you know, like don't gop it on top of here. So you just want to take some, and I always brush towards the edge just so I don't rip it. <laughs> That's the main reason. And then, you know, I try to start in the middle and work my way out. I don't care about the little bumps in here. Because that's all part of the process. It's supposed to look not smooth. That's my glue. If it is bubbly, I just kind of do that and then I'll press it down a little to get those little bubbles going, get them out of there. All right, so now this one is just going to sit off to the side. Done with you for now. I don't think I have anything else decoupaging except for that. So I'll take what I can on my decoupage. I'll put it back in my container. Now I have a bigger container of the decoupage, but I use this small one because it's just easier um, to move around and stuff. Now I don't want this to dry out. And of course I don't want to run to the bathroom to do it. So what I'm going to do is just rub that in there so the fan doesn't dry it all out because I can use it again as long as it's not really stiff and all. All right, so. Let's work with joy today. Joy to the world. I think one of my edges needed to be done. Yep, here we go. And it's one of my edges. So we'll set you over there. All right, so with these guys, it's the word joy. Oops, how do I write it upside down? All right, so this comes all natural wood, right? I noticed a piece there. Make sure. Okay. Painted it white. 
couple of coats. I come back, I use a Dremel saw to go around the edges here like this, all right? After I've decoupaged it here, I'll come back and, you know, like on the, um, the tree, you know, there's part hanging over and I'll take, I just take a little piece of sandpaper and I'll do that to get those edges off. And then I'll come back just lightly with the saw, you know, and, um, which is on a sandpaper. It's a Dremel. It's like a quick way to, instead of doing this all by hand, um, quick way to do it. So all these were Dremel. Okay. Now we got to come back and make it look like it's old. That's the trick. Joy should go this way, right? Because you read it this way. <laughs> so this one isn't done yet, all right, as you can tell. Um, I used brown. I didn't want to use black because of the fact that if I use black on it, it, it just, I didn't like the black being on the Joy. I like the brown, and I like it to look rustic this way. So we're going to do this part together. So let me move this over here. Move the gun out of the way there. And we're going to get my little fancy dancy brush. Now what we're going to use, so this is where I keep all my brushes. We're going to use an angle brush. Here's my angle brush. And if you can see, it just is on an angle. So it has one longer part and it goes up on an angle. Okay. You can get these at any of your craft stores, wherever. my paint tray. I'm going to pour some water in here because we're going to need that later. And then I've been using what they call raw umber. Um, this is Americana acrylic paint. You can use it by any brand, the Deca, the Delta, um, cream coat, whatever. All right. So we're going to take our brush. I'm just going to dip it in some water first. I always have a paper towel in hand because if I make a mistake or anything, that paper towel is going to be my love of my life. I'm going to take the, sh um, the long end and I'm going to dip that in the brown and the other part is going to have water. Now, what I like to do first, I like to just go over this and I just put like a, I'll call it a skim coat of water on this. Um, before I start, that's me. It's not globbing it. It's going to dry before I even get there, but it just helps for me, um, in doing it. So you can see, I barely have any brown on that edge. It already has water there. Hopefully you guys can see this. And I'm going to take the side with the paint and I'm going to run it along the side here. And this is how we're going to get that age looked. Can you guys see that? And then I just keep going around. Now, if I need more black paint or I need more water, I can just add that. And I just want to give it some definition on the star. So see the difference there? Let's see if you guys can see it. I gotta wait. There's such a delay on holding these up. So this part hasn't been done. You can see how this part looks like it's been aged there. And you can make it as wide as you want. Um, and I mean that as far as wide as the brown line, so to speak, that you're using or whatever color you're using. But I just want enough just to give it some definition and show it some, some way of being aged. And it doesn't have to be a lot because we're going to go over the whole star because I don't want this to be so white now as compared to the edge. And I'll show you that we'll do at the very end. Now see, I don't have enough water there, so I take the other end of my brush and I can do it and spread that out. And this is where, see I got a big glob of water there. I can go ahead and take it and just take my paper towel and wipe it up. If you get too much water and that happens and then I just go back and go 
filling in the way I want it to be. Now if I didn't sand the edges to this first, it would be um, flat and then I'd probably, for me, for what I want to do on this, I would then come back and do it. But I sand it first um, because the paint will kind of come down into those lines with, you know, the sanded, sanded part and it gives it, for me, it gives it a little bit more definition. So it's not too hard. And you guys don't see me painting that much. <laughs> because you get into the painting, you're looking down all the time. And it's hard, you know, you know, to read comments and stuff like that. So... But we're going to decorate. The word, the J and the Y are already done. It was just the stars I hadn't done yet as far as this goes. So this is the boring part. I know. But I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. All right. So my star is like that. Uh, Tamara. Um, Hobby Lobby, now you can cut out and do whatever you want. Hobby Lobby sells this like this. And then we have another one we're going to work on, um, two. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, which you can get if they still have them. Um, this is the word. It will be fall. Oops. I had to think of upside down and backwards. You guys, can, let me see if you guys can see that all in frame. So these are already, um, what you may call it, sealed and everything. So I painted these, already stained them both sides and everything. And now we got to do the next part um, on them, which is doing all the staining. Because as much as I thought, I was like, oh, yay, I'm almost done. You know what happened? I couldn't find this leaf. This one leaf evaded me. And what happened was I was, I did it and I put the wrong um, decoupage on the front and I had to take it all off and I put it in my granddaughter's, it's the rack where we um, put all her cups, you know, to dry. And I spent, I can't tell you, like three days looking for it. And then my and my husband, we had flashlights because I was outside sanding, and we had flashlights outside looking in the garage outside in the. My force said, "Yeah," but you can find um, there's places also online too that you can find um, people that make these. I buy a lot some wood products from um, Hot Mesh Mom, so um, too. So you can check there and see if she has anything. Okay. Um, anyway, so we couldn't find this leaf. And I was like, but I, I know I had all the letters for everything. And he's like, you sure? I was like, yeah, I did. Well, I had put it in the drying rock, like I said, because I goofed. And it was pushed to the back of the drying rack up against the wall. And the wall is, you know, has granite on it. So it kind of blended in. And I came down one day, you know, he had gone to work and I came down and I see this on the table and I was like, oh, so I called him right away and I said, where did you find it? He goes, you're not going to believe it. He goes, that dress, you know, it's right next to the sink. How many times did we put stuff in there and never thought to look? And I said, you know how funny? I said, now I remember <laughs> me doing that. I said, but I didn't think of it before. So he, we were just laughing at each other. It, it was just funny, 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 funny. But I'm glad I found it because I was like, okay, well, this word may have a pumpkin in it instead. Okay, so you could see how I'm tinting the edges there. Oh yeah, I like buying her products. So it's, I gotta think, stained, not stained. So it's coming along. I like Carrie. She's a nice person. Everybody likes whoever they want, but I like Carrie. 
I met her at Wreath Makers Live um, last year, and I bought a bunch of stuff from her then. And I bought some them stuff since too. I got too much water, so I'm just spreading it out here on the leaf, which is fine because we're gonna do. We got to stain the whole other part of the leaf too. We can't just leave the edges. Okay, so we got that taken care of. So let's go back to getting our edges done. All right, almost done with this. This, like I said, this is the boring part. And that's why <laughs> painting these, it's like one layer of painting, then you gotta sand it. Then you gotta put another layer of painting, then you gotta sand it. So it's it's like layers and it's very time consuming. So that's why I didn't come on showing you, okay, let me show you how I gotta paint. Okay, let's watch it dry. <laughs> Cause that would be so boring. All right, so what the reason why I'm doing this with the water is because we're going to mix. I don't know if you can see when I do it, it takes off some of the, I'll, I'll use, say, the word water lines. Because when you do this, you kind of get a water line a little bit around it. And I don't want that where, you know, it is. So I bring back just water and I just go through and I paint it through. Because it just still gives this, if you notice... Let's see if I didn't do this one yet. Well, this one's brown. Where are you? Where are you going? Hold on. Okay. So, like, this one's not painted yet, right? And then it's brown like this. So, you can see how I wanted it to stay light and just like that. There's different ways you can do it. And that's kind of what I want to do. You can kind of see it on the F. Okay. So there's all different techniques on these. And like I said before on the J's, the reason why I want to use black, this is just a uh, playing around thing. You can see how the black on the white, I didn't like it. It was too harsh. This is this was me playing around. Um, it was too harsh. So I didn't want to do that and have the black so much in your face. So that's what made me chose to do it you know, these are fine doing in the brown, but to do the, the word joy in brown. So let's just go put some water on this. Oh, you can really see the water on this one. And this is all I do. Just to get it a little damp. It makes it easy for the paint to flow on it better. And like I said, it pretty much dries by the time I get around, but this is how I like to paint. So let's go to the next part. So I have these, the green ones and this one here that I'm doing, these will spell the word fall. So I did two in green. And I did one in orange. And they, some people may call them shelf sitters. Say that ten times fast. Yeah. And because um, they just sit on your shelf or wherever you want it to display, you can, you know, put it on the dining room table. I use letters and um, like Christmas time, I have these Christmas trees that like, kind of like puzzle piece them together. And I have those on my table, you know, with some other things too. But... Um, they look really pretty. Put them up on a fireplace, wherever you want to put them. It is up to you. So, I got to tell you about my hair appointment. <laughs> it's so funny. So, yesterday, I wake up and I said, you know got to get my hair cut. I have not, I think I've had it cut once this whole year and it's been growing and growing. And the reason that was because last year I had so many craft shows that I didn't get a chance to go get it cut and stuff. And I said, oh, what the heck, we'll grow it. So I just kept cutting my bangs myself kind of thing. And I just let the rest of it just, you know, kind of grow. 
which was fine. Oops, that's not paper towel. But I, you know how it grows and you like it one way and then it grows and you're like, ugh, it's like that in-between stage and you hate it kind of thing again. And then it grows and you like it and then you hate it. <laughs> so I was <laughs> in that kind of stage. So I've been saying, you know, oh, maybe I'll just get it cut off. And I was actually going to go shorter than what he did, but it's all fine. And um, so I went in, I called yesterday and my hair, I said, is my hairdresser, you know, I've been going in for 20 something years and yeah, but he only has this appointment. Perfect. I'm there. Got dressed, went out the door and left. So I'm in there and now my hair had, I'll say three colors in it because being out in the pool during the summer, my hair gets blonde, blonde, you know, out in the summer and being in the pool you know with all the chlorine to boot it makes made it even blonder so I like and then because I wasn't in the pool anymore um, my hair had like it was dark then it was light where the where the blonde was and then it was dark again so I look like a zebra is what I look like and I was like ah, not gonna work for me not to be a zebra didn't like that so we had to color it to you know as he you know first before he cut it so then he cut it all off it looks really nice you know you have many hours you spend in there right and I drive home which is only about 15 minutes from my house and I come in my husband was home and he goes oh your hair looks nice because I called him and told him I was gonna get my hair cut and that, you know, the dogs would be here, you know, I'll take them out before I went and all. So when I came home, he said, oh, your hair looks really nice. And then he goes, can you help me? So I said, help you? I said, do what? Well, we're going to have the lawn, you know, the guy's going to come to aerate it and put the seed down. I said, so he needs to mark it, you know, where our sprinklers are and, you know, because they're in the ground. So I was like, well, he's not coming to next week. And he goes, yeah, but he asked me to mark it in case he can come earlier this week. And I said, well, you didn't tell me that. And he goes, well, he came to the house the other night. Didn't you remember? I said, yeah, but you didn't tell me he was going to come this week. Everything was set for next week. So it was like, okay. So now I had to help him mark the sprinklers. Well, in order to do that, even though we have a map, so to speak, we had to turn on the sprinklers. Yeah, we had to turn them on. So in turning them on, I'm running through the sprinkler. So let me just say my hair got a mess. And I was pissed. Pissed, pissed, pissed. So I was like, yeah, thank you, dear. Thank you. Did I do, I did this side, did this side, did this side. Didn't do this one yet. Okay, put you over there. Do this one. So now my hair those of you that may or may not know me, my hair gets very curly when it's wet. I'm talking curls. You don't have to worry about a perm with my hair because it will stay. So now my hair is soaking wet. I'm soaking wet. And I was like, mad, mad. <laughs> so I said, great, dear. So much for getting my hair done today. And so he was, and he looks and he's like, mm okay she's not in a good mood and I basically was like you can stay down in the basement tonight <laughs> so now I had to come in and take a shower because I'm all sweaty and everything blow dry my hair and I was just like this was not in my plans I wanted to go live today and I had these other things I wanted to do and I was just like you just kind of screwed me up <laughs> screwed me up royally there so I was pissed so it wasn't a good day then they add insult to injury. Then my friend calls and, you know, she's telling me her husband's usually home by now. He went out fishing and he, he, they're usually, you know, have called by this time and it was two hours past that time frame. So her husband and the other lady, they were frantic because they weren't answering their phones or anything. The guys, eventually they did come home. All was okay. Well, we got more. 
Well, the other part of the story is then my husband, then um, I get an order to make a, you know, a bow that I had up on my site. So I went to go make the bow and I was like, where's my 50 yard ribbon roll for that? Really? I can't find it. Tore the carafe room apart. I'm like, I know I put it somewhere thinking, oh, this would be easy to find if it's here. Right? Yeah. Finally found it. And as I found it, a friend had called and I was talking with her and I have a closet off to the side here and it has a bunch of tubs and all in there. And in the tub on the shelf were my fall signs. So what happens that tub decides to fall off the shelf all the signs went all over the floor and I was like and she heard it on the phone she was oh my what was that and I said yeah that was a whole tub of fall signs that just fell and she's like and I showed her a picture so there's that and she's kind of laughing at me I was like don't laugh because it's gonna happen to you woman <laughs> So this part um, of the whole thing, I don't want it to stay white, white, and I don't want this to stay white, white, because it would look kind of funky like this, right? So see how the backs look now? See how it looks so aged looking? Which is what I like. So I think we did this star first. So now what I'm gonna do, since we got everything aged on the one side, I'm gonna take my brown paint and I'm gonna mix it. This is where I had some water and I'm gonna mix it in here. And it's gonna like make a stain, just a watered down version of everything. Get those little globs. There we go. Okay, if I don't want it as dark, I kind of put my paintbrush here. It's up to you, which, however you wanna do it. And all I want is just a little bit of water on it. And I'm gonna go on the sides of this. So that way it will give that aged look on the sides as well now this becomes really watery so you have to watch it because it will drip so i hold it i try to hold it on one angle so if it drips down one side i can wipe it right away i don't like it on this to drip onto the paper you know the decoupage part because then it will stain it and i haven't gotten to that part yet to do which is next so that's all I'm doing with these. It's just kind of like a light stain is all that this is. And it does it just enough. If you want it darker, like I said, you can put more brown paint in there or less water. And I think this is the beginning. All right. So I don't know if it shows up good. Let me find a really white, white. I don't know if you could see that well on the camera. It's kind of hard to see in the camera. You can't really tell it because of the my ring light. So it's just enough stain to take out the white white. I'll take the same stain thing here now that this is dry and I'll do the same thing going across all here. It's pretty much done anyway from doing the painting, but I still like to do this. And that's all I do and I set that out to set that out to dry bam so let's do the same thing on here oops let me flip you up so it doesn't drain into the paper but the biggest thing with the stars you gotta remember where you started <laughs> and if it drips see like it's dripping i just come back and i just brush it that's why your paper towels are your friends Try not to let it drip, but it does drip sometimes. Can't avoid it. Whew. Now, you know, everybody's gearing up for the holidays with making things. So keep in mind that some people still want like everyday stuff. Um, on the last virtual sale, I sold my home sweet home sign that I had done and people, we um, put a thing out to ask people like, what do you want to see, you know, on it? 
on our virtuals um, sales and you know I just got into this virtual sales stuff and I'll tell you what because it's because all the craft shows are canceled all right one of my uh, where I live there's a lot of schools and a lot of churches so that's really where a lot of mine are um, and they're all canceled all the schools of church the one I was hoping in November was a church um, <laughs> to get a notification they canceled so I was like oh man that kind of stinks um, but it's okay there's always next year so I just let them roll my money over to next year for it but if you can find somewhere to do it or do it on your own page too where you can just do a live sale all right because that's the you know if you do craft shows and stuff like that that's the one place that you're going to be able to try to sell your stuff so keep that in mind do it on your business page don't do it on your personal page though all right because you will get in trouble with Facebook if you do it on your personal page all right so we're just antiquing these and again this is the tedious stuff <laughs> and like I said this is why I didn't do these on lives with you how I was painting all this stuff and sanding it because I had to do the Dremel saw out the sander outside and um, it's very noisy needless to say and it's the boring part but I'm trying to go as quick as I can because I want to get to the decoration part we got to spruce these up this isn't the way we're going to leave them just like this we got to add some bling some bling bling not so glittery bling but something <laughs> so what is everybody doing today i know it's a crazy day for i usually don't come live this early or anything but i i have missed you guys so much and i felt so bad that i haven't been live um, and that's because I had back-to-back -back shows but get on you guys if you can get into I'm gonna give you a hint here the virtual home decor marketplace that's where I sell and the person I'm doing it with she's closed right now but get on there so you can get on the waiting list so when she opens it up because she'll open it up um, she we have let's see the last show we did we had um, was it 70 vendors that were selling um, and it was if not close to 10,000 people that she had there that could watch and buy so it's a good way and you can get more people on your page like I have one lady who watched me and then went to my shop and she literally bought five um, Christmas wreaths she bought three what did she buy she bought my nutcracker she bought um, oh my god why can't I remember now my North Pole sign nutcracker um, I had a frosty snowman wreath she bought him and she's given these all away as gifts she said my stars are done yes um so and then she bought two of the candy canes you know the flat candy canes like you're wrapping you know ribbon she bought five of those oh two of those so oh thanks claudia i just said your your thing just popped up oh i gotta bring these cameras in oops didn't know that sorry hey marcella hey brenda hi brenda how are you hey tina these things that say bring in Carol. Hey, Carol. See, all these didn't come up. Hey, Venus. Hey, Renee. Muhammad Connie. Debbie, I just saw this. Phyllis. Why didn't they come up on my computer? Sherry. Goodness, I'm sorry. Deanna. Elena. Wow. Oh, my God. Sherry here. Tammy. I don't quite understand with Facebook yet where they did this bring the camera bring them on camera I don't understand this so it, I'm, it might be their phones and stuff might be different than what my iPhones are good golly did I get them all Nona hello 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 everybody if I missed you Kim I 
I'm so sorry. Shirley. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of these. It doesn't come up on the, um, hey Marcella, how are you? It doesn't show up on the computer saying to do this. Wow, that's crazy. There's Carol. I think I'm at the beginning, right? Oh no, I'm not. Oh my gosh. Molly, Lorraine. Okay. Whew. That was a lot. I apologize, guys. I didn't see that. Wow. Okay. So we got this painted back, 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 right? And this was just the sides and the back. All right. So now I got to stain the front. Doing the same thing with the paint. Let me move these guys. I'll move them over here. And I'm doing the same thing here, and you're going to watch how this is. Now, the paper absorbs pretty well. And again, it's just the light. I don't want it to be so dark, because remember, this is paper on here. And too much water will make it start ripping. And again, I'm working from the inside, working my way out, so that I don't pick up any of the edges. And this will stain it just enough. I don't want it like brown brown okay we'll do the same thing on the edges come along the edges here to give it the antique look and then I'll hold them both up so you could see them um, you're not going to see it as much the brown on the black but it's still going to be there And this just brings it and what this does besides making it look antique it also makes the edges pop you know more dimensional some water where's water there we go all right Hello, I'm good. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing fine, Marcella. I'm having a good time. It's getting cold up here. I live in Virginia. Those of you that don't know, there's my dog barking again. They're supposed to come um, aerate, possibly, as well as spray for like mosquitoes. So, apologize since my husband's not here. That probably sounds like he could be the mosquito guy. Oh, well. All right, so show you the difference. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. And I'll hold them up for a few seconds because since there's such a delay, again, you it's hard for you to see. So this one here is the one that's stained. And this one is not. Let's see, I gotta go this way, right? <laughs> I gotta think of this upside down and backwards. I went too far but you can see it on the on the top here you know where the stain is oh excuse me wrong one um, on it so it's just enough to give it just a little bit so it's not so white 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 so again we'll come over on this one and just paint it with some of this going over the top Dogs went down into the basement barking, so I'm pretty much soon. It is the guy. Watch my phone start pinging. Yeah. Because of them. Because now with the virus, they can't ring your doorbell and tell you, hey, I'm here. They probably sent me a message that they were on their way, but I'm recording with you guys. All right, so let's do this. Spread this out. water in there to spread it out oh yep I hear him with the machine out there we have people come and I started this five years ago and 
people some people give me grief about it but um, they come and they spray for mosquitoes and stuff like that in my yard and you know some people say oh it's a waste of money in this but I'll tell you what I can go down to my neighbor's house especially after they sprayed and I could be being swatted like crazy and get mosquito bites and she always they always say oh you sent them all down to us and I said I just hate it and we started doing it and it's not just for mosquitoes but it also does like for you know we where we live in Virginia here they'll have fire ants and um, it cuts down on all that as well you know having all these bugs crawling around the ground and stuff I'm not gonna say it's perfect they do have you know their bugs that do crawl around and um, but it it's not in ticks and stuff because we live by a wooded area so that we do get ticks but I'll tell you what when we first moved here and we weren't doing this my husband would be out I had to go get tested for Lyme disease because we had so many deer and that's gonna dry I don't know can you see this on here I don't know if you could see it you kind of can you can see it in the joints so to speak but it's hard with the light reflecting on it I want to make this one just a little bit darker so it takes some more brown paint in here the white wasn't as dark as I wanted it the little white squares there we go much better done done oh good god I feel like I'm doing this forever so let's put these guys aside and let's do some decorations because I can come back to that let me get one of my little cups here Oops. And what I mean these are these little cups that you get the fruit in for the kids put my paintbrush up in here though and I'm just going to cover the paint a little bit, like I said, because I have a fan directly above me. So this is what I want to do. I kind of mapped this out last night. Hopefully. I have some little red beads that I thought would look so cute just hanging down the word joy. And I want to use some of this. Just some cord or jute all right so that's why it's my knuckle against the one yep okay how much of them it's going to use there's no right or wrong to this um it's up to you how much you want to wrap around so let's get this baby going so i'm going to start it up at the top as close as i can to the top Put a little dab of glue there. I only need a little bit just to hold it for me for right now. Just the happy finger, not my regular finger, right? And then I'm just going to come around and wrap. Now when I wrap this, I don't want the cord to go over the last one, needless to say. And I'm just going to wrap. So I want them to stay flat up against each other. And as many times as I wrap it on one, I gotta make sure I do the same amount on the other. Now with the stars that go to this, I'm not putting any decorations or anything on the stars because I think with the stars, you know, with the plaid paper on it, it's enough. So let's see, that's three, six. Okay, so we're gonna come up with this one and get the this cut it and we'll glue this piece down as well and I don't like glob out the glue you know how you get a little bit of glue and I take it and I just kind of like almost like paint it on this I'm doing this lefty too and I just paint it and the reason being that the phrase from you know when you cut it can't do with these when you cut it it starts fraying back so that's why um, 
it kind of keeps it from doing that because I don't want it to fray back and then come all apart. All right, so we got that, right? Now what I'm hoping it works, because in my brain it's working that way, I'm gonna cut off these little, it's just little beads, little, I don't know, very beady things. I'm gonna cut off two. My idea is, I just want it to hang down just like that. Isn't that gonna look cute? Oops, comments on me. All right, so make sure your little balls are facing the way you want them to face and stuff. And I just wanted to do that. I don't need a really big stem because we're gonna cover the stem. Oops, and two of those fell off, but we'll put those back on. So I'll put a little glue on this, baby. And I'm going to stick it about halfway down. Oops, come back. Come back, my little friends. Stick that one back in there. And we can stick you right in there as well. There we go. Now the thing is to hold this. <laughs> I wanted to press it down. Perfect. I'm still going to use jute now. I and all I want to do is just make a bow. You could do it, make your bow however you want to make it. Oops, there we go. Hey, Marcia. No comments are coming up on here, but all those comments came on there. Isn't that wild? Hmm. I haven't figured this. Oh, it's computers. All right, so we're just gonna make a bow. Figure out how big you wanna make your loops. Now you can make these long and tie them and do all this other stuff. I don't want them too long. And what I'm gonna do is just glue this right, put a happy finger on. All these cameras. Okay. And we're just going to put a dab of glue. And right there. Voila. Look how cute. Hopefully I did it on the right side of the J, right? <laughs> I just realized it because I've been doing everything upside down for you guys. <laughs> oh, had a glue string. And that's going to be our J. So we'll put you over there. So let's do Y. Oh, I really like that. I can't understand why all the comments are not coming up. That's just bizarre. All right, we'll just watch them from here. All right, so let's continue. We're gonna do it here, and I said I wrapped it how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So our little dab of glue. And we're gonna do this at this part of the J, or Y, excuse me. Already did the J. One thing about Y, it doesn't matter which side you're doing on. <laughs> because it looks the same on both sides. And you want to make sure you get it tight enough. Don't pull it so tight because then it stretches out the um, cord, so to speak. Let's do this. Wrap it around. Those of you that are just coming on, hey guys, anybody, go ahead and um, bless my page. Have your friends come hang out with us, please, if you don't mind. I'm trying to get to 5,000. That would be so nice. Three, six, seven, this is it. Oh, we got a piece of that little part of the string hanging up. Let's cut that off. 
Now you can do this where you have the string and you just tie it this way if you want to. I just chose to do it this way. Again, you could do it however you want, but this is just the way I chose to do it. All right, so let's get our little berries. We got them. Don't need it as long, so those probably those two little ones are probably going to come off like they did last time, which is okay. We'll put them back on if they need be. And let's go ahead and glue this guy on. I put my glue gun on the other side of me. That's drying. Let's make our bow. Hello, Teresa. How are you, my friend? What? I am. <laughs> Silly computers. All right, so I do, I, this is how I learned. When I was in kindergarten, I learned to tie with the two rabbit ears. And you cross them over and bring them through the hole. I could never do it the other way with the one rabbit ear you wrap around. To this day, I can't tie my shoe like that. It's the two rabbit ears for me. That's just the way it's going to be. All right, let me turn this up my way. Put some glue on this and we're going to put this right on top there and look how cute we'll get the J O and the star would be in the middle like that and see if you guys can see the whole thing which way do I got to go more towards the J let me move this stuff out of the way. So you guys can see it. See if that works. There we go. Hey, Doris. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Linda. So look how cute. So if I stand them up, you may not see. I don't know. Maybe you will see them. No, I haven't sealed the star yet since we just painted that one, you know, with you all today. But that's how it's going to look. Isn't that cute? I think they're cute. And when the tree is all done, this can be sold as like a set. So you can have the, you know, J-O-I if you're going around something. And this would be like a whole little set that they can have, you know, on a mantle or something. They can put the tree off to the side. And then, you know, maybe if you want, whoops move my pliers if you have the tree off to the side as I knock everything down and I don't like to lay them so straight I like to zigzag them a little bit maybe they can have the tree off to the side you know um, on their mantle wherever the however but I just thought this was kind of a cute little thing to make and it's not hard it's really not hard y'all it just takes time you know, and that's like I said, why I haven't been on any lives because this painting part process takes time. Did I paint that one on top? Yeah. And then, oh, we got to stain this guy. We didn't stain this guy, did we? Oopsie. My bad. Can't see the finished product if it's not a finished product. So where's my paintbrush? Come here, paintbrush. So we will do the same technique on this one. Now I'm not going to stain the back of this because you're never going to see the back of this. Okay? So I'm just going to do all the, the trimming on this. And I forgot to put water on this first. I'll take a little bit of the stainy stuff. Just paint that whole thing on there. And when doing the stain, it starts bringing out, I call it stain, but it starts bringing out 
you know, where I sanded down to the raw wood again, it starts making that, it highlights that a little bit, which kind of makes it look pretty too. Again, it gives it more dimension than anything. But I thought this would be a cute little set. So how is everybody today? All these hurricanes we've had this year. Crazy. Crazy. I just can't believe it all. Oh, it's going to get loud. I can hear the guy outside still. I'm just going to go over this again. So look at the difference. Can you guys see the difference there? Let's see if you can see. So this isn't painted yet. You can see it a little bit, the brown edging on here. And I'm going to do it on all the pieces here. But it just, again, it gives it that, oops, I forgot to bring in some of the, let's do this first. Some water on there get that going and then I can paint this little piece would be easy because it's just up at the top well, hello Miss, Miss Sky hey guys it's hard to believe my little puppy that I nursed is gonna be a year in November a year. Can you guys imagine that? It's a little bit too dark, so let me take some of that off. There we go. Um, we are just talking. My daughter's adopting another puppy. She has chased the sibling to Sky, and the brother, and she was fostering another dog named Sally and she's kind of like a border collie you know and she's about three and she was gonna keep her Sally is just so sweet she just needs you know she's starting to come out of her shell now she's had her a couple of weeks and she just needed some time and then one of the other puppies my daughter fostered a couple of months ago um, she people for whatever who guns hot reason they said the dog wouldn't stay the puppy wouldn't stay in its kennel and stuff and she was like well that's silly because he was kenneled here his name was scotty because they named that whole litter off of the um toilet paper they had scotty charmin angel because that's what all the toilet paper stuff everybody was going out running around buying toilet paper because they thought it was never going to be there again I don't know if you can see it now this part wasn't painted so these three have been can you see that hi Judy how are you hello Melissa bring in did I do it right there we go so see the difference can you see it oops I'm gonna angle it down maybe I don't know it's hard to see so this was these two well actually all three have been stained but this one has not. So you, can you see? Uh, God, this light. I'm glad to have it, but on the other part, uh, it's not working. <laughs> okay, so that's how we make a look at antique. So now we'll just paint this one over. Get some water in there and give it the antique look down here. And this is now with this one because I did the little berries on there. I was like, well, I can't put berries on here. I was like, what am I going to put on the tree? Should I put anything on the tree? What do you guys think? Like, if should I put anything on here, whether it's painting or any decoration? I mean, give me some pointers, y'all. Part of me says no, part of me says leave it. Um, but I was, I kind of think, hmm, maybe I should put something. So what do you guys think? Give me your opinions. Hi, Patty. 
how are you? Hi from PA, first time watcher. Yes! Oh, you're a Nona also, yay! Yes, I'm a Nona of two. Hey, Carla. Um, I'm a Nona too, and welcome, welcome. Hey, you know, you're going to have to catch the whole thing so you can see what we were doing, but anybody that's coming on, hit anywhere on the page, and three little white dots are going to pop up at the top. Make sure you hit on those to get the notifications so you know when I go live. Um, right now, because i got some shows going on, it's going to be a hit or miss for me. Because I gotta get all my stuff ready for my shows. You have five. Good golly. I have two. I have twin daughters. They each had one. And they both said they're not having any more. And I went, thanks. <laughs> and my son just got engaged on July 4th. And I know he's gonna have kids because they've already talked about it. And, um, but they want to get their house. They're living in a townhouse right now. Um, they want to get, you know, buy a house and then, uh, they'll start having munchkins. And part of me wants to say payback. <laughs> a little brown paint on there, but that's okay because we're going to paint this whole thing here to give it a little bit more of an antique -y look. Turn it around. And those of you that just watching, just coming on, we just took some paint, mixed it in with water here to get that. And all we're doing is half the brush here, and we're just coming down the sides. Just to give it an old feel to it, that old country feel. And the edges. water. Hold on. There we go. We're gonna mix all that in there. All right. Now we're back to where we were. This is hard painting and trying to show you at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if overhead and overhead projector would be any better because my arm may get in the way. <laughs> and I don't have one of those fancy dancy cameras yet. is done. You guys should have told me I didn't paint this one. <laughs> now here's the paper towel. If I don't like what it is, I can always go back with the paper towel. You can brush it off. It's just like when you're staining on wood, the same thing. If it's too dark or whatever, and you go back and you can, you know, tint it up, uh, wipe it off to make it um, the color that you want it to be. Oops, I missed some comments. I was watching while I was on a school zone. <laughs> Zoom calling. Patty, you're silly. Using it can be used all year round. Farmhouse. Yeah, see, I don't think I want to put anything on it. Because that way, you know, it's black and white. If you have the farmhouse, you know, black and white theme going in your house, you can just keep this as is instead of putting something so Christmassy and all on it. My daughter's had three and my son had two. Only one girl. Oh, goodness. We have two girls. I have twin girls, and they each had a girl. And I'm hoping my son would have a boy so we could pass on the family name. That would be nice. Now, in this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the edges here as well, and coming down the sides. Again, to give it that old look. Yeah, I wish my girls had more, but, you know, because I was like, oh, I, I want to be a nona for a lot of little ones. But didn't work out that way. Both of them said one's enough. And right now, for me, with the homeschooling, one's enough for me, too. <laughs> 
I mean, I could have learned, you know, it, I mean, I know my little Cassidy, who's five, has she's learned, a, no, 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 we go here on the computer. They bought her her own, like, um, computer for this. And um, just for school, she can't do anything else on it. And um, my daughter put all the little tabs up at the top, or bookmarks, I guess they call it. And she'll know, she knows right to go. I got to go on my Zoom course. She knows the little blue Zoom camera, you know, in there. And she'll go right onto it. But the other day I had her and we couldn't get into her PE class. <laughs> and it was crazy. I, we, it took 15 minutes. I had my daughter. I was like, hey, we can't get into that class. So she's on and, you know, with the teachers. And they're like, oh, she, you know, the PE teacher did this or didn't do this or whatever. And we finally got on, but we were like 15 minutes late. And I, now I, I did it in a couple of days this week. So now I'm understanding a little bit better on how to do it. So we'll get there. All right, so that's the stand. Now we did the front of this. I am going to do the sides here, even though I'm not, and I'll tint the, you know, this side of it. But like I said, I'm not going to tint the whole back of this. Um, just because you're not going to see it. Now this is the grain. If you could see all the grain coming out in the wood. Um, so you have to be careful with how much you use on this because once it sops in, you're, you're kind of SOL. <laughs> it's hard to get out when it's in the grain or the mill side, whatever you call it. I think I need some more brown paint. Nope, nope, I got some brown paint right there. I got quiet again because I'm painting. Hey, Sandy. How are you, my friend? We're painting, Miss Sandy. Painting, painting, painting. There we go. Got it. Got it where I want it. If I turn it this way, it might make it easier for me. All right, so there's one side. Almost done. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oops. Need some more water in here, a little bit more water. I keep a little cup full of water. Run it down the side. I guess we'll just start here. Doesn't matter where you start. Just <laughs> Sometimes when you get, like I have a Christmas tree, another Christmas tree I have over, off to the side there. And it's all these squirrely things and everything on it. And it is crazy to try to sand, you know, paper it. And I was like, oh, I, I did it, you know, sand it to make it look old on one side. It's not completed by far um, yet. <laughs> it's still got a lot of work on it. But um, I'm making it and it's gonna go in a picture frame. And that's something I'll do with you guys too. It's not gonna happen yet. The lady wants a Mary Ingold um, colors. And I made her, she wanted a garland. So I made her a garland to put on the tree. Um, so she already, I already have that done. Because there's so many pieces to what she wants, I had I had to start, and I bought the picture frame already because she wants it to look like a window, like as if somebody was looking in the window or looking out the window. Um, in this case, and you know, so you're gonna see a Christmas tree, and we're gonna have some other things on it and stuff, not just the tree. And I think it's gonna come out cute. My brain tells me it's gonna come out cute. 
But you know how you start one way and you wind up going a whole nother direction with things. <laughs> hey, Kathy, how are you? I'm great, getting ready for my live sale tonight. Thing with it. Oh, good for you! Yay, yay! Gotta do it. And I was talking about everybody else doing that earlier, too, because since there's no craft shows or anything, you gotta do it some way. Every time I think I'm done, there's another angle I have to do. <laughs> Good golly. And like I said, this is all the tedious stuff. But I wanted you guys to see it because, like I said, I hadn't seen you guys in a while. And I wanted to get on here and do something with you to give you some other ideas. I mean, I did some reads. I did some everyday reads I was working on um, for my show. And... Those are done. Those are the easy ones, right? Let's smooth that out a little bit. And these get to be intricate when you get in these nooks and crannies and places that you can't get your toothbrush in. A toothbrush, paintbrush. Silly me. Silly me. Just get in here and then we'll be. I think we're done this time. Every time I say I'm done, right? Huh. Now I think I'm done, right? I got all the sides, got the front, got the bottom, got the base. Yay! Now it would have to be sealed. <laughs> That's what will have to be done. Holy guacamoles. Holy Batman. And like I said, I'm not doing the back because you're not going to see the back. There's no sense to do the back. Hey, Darlene, how are you? Yes, I'll, I'll come on tonight and watch you, Cindy. Hi, Caroline. Nice seeing you, darling. No, Cindy. Okay, what is explaining? We had a lot going on. Um, I've been painting all these little pieces of things and it takes a lot of time to paint. And like today, you guys are probably bored out of your head watching me paint. <laughs> so I, um, didn't want, I didn't want you guys to be so bored. All right. So now that we have the tree the way it should be, here we go. So I figured, like I said, to sell this as a set. Oh, oh, thank God there wasn't water in there. Let's see, which way do I have to move? Towards the J. Right here. And then, like, and you know what? The word joy can be left out all the time, too. See, I didn't make it so Christmassy, so you can keep it out. I mean, if somebody really wanted to, they can cut off the little red balls, but. I think it looks cute just like that. And I don't think I'm going to put anything down here on this just to keep it, you know, I thought of maybe putting some, I don't know, you guys tell me, should I take some of this, you know, twine and wrap it around and put a bow down here just to give this something or put a bow up here at the top? What do you guys think? Give me your opinion. Hey, Darlene. I have been able to get a couple of boots. Oh, good for you. Oh, the days of Canton, Texas. Yeah, November, December. All of my regular craft shows have been done. Yeah. Oops. Craft shows should be excited. Oh, that's so good for you, Claudia. I'm happy for you. All mine are canceled. One of the schools is going to do a virtual. But I don't know how they're actually going to do it yet. Because they say virtual if you want to watch your, you know, vendor or crafters make their items. And I was like... Well, what benefit is that going to be for me? So I said, why don't you do it, you know, where we can show you some items and people can bid on a number or something to buy it, you know? So that's what I kicked back to them and haven't heard back from them yet. All right. So that will be this set. These are already sealed. You know, I already, because I, <laughs> these are, everything's done in stages. I do have to seal this and seal this though. But what do you guys think? Wrap, or, or, what, what would you say? Wrap around top. You don't see it if it's at the bottom and you use the letters. Okay, so you say wrap around the top. Okay, so let's try it. Where's my stuff? We won't glue it. 
Now when you say wrap around the top, let's see. How high? Let's see. Let's see how we can do this. If we put a little. Um, clips. Where are my clips? Where are my clips? Pick a drawer, Carolyn. Where? Oh, my clips are over here. So hold on. Oh, wait, that might stay. So if we do it like that, well, I'll just cut this. Whoa! That's what happens when you cut it and it's not glued. <laughs> hold on, let me get a clip. Hold on, y'all. See if we can do this. See if this looks good. Now you're going to see the clip, but life goes on. Let me move the camera up just a little bit, y'all. Since I'm standing doing this so you can see the top. Okay. So if we do it like that, I can. Let's just make a little bow. My double rabbit ears. <sighs> so if we see if we can do it, just if that will stay. So is that what you're saying to do, Patty? What do you guys think? Think that looks okay? Minus, minus the pink clip. You guys give me your opinion on this. I wish my comments would work on there. So you think that looks cute like that? Now, I, oh, it's staying. Now on the words, we put the berries. Hold on. Oh, thank God that wasn't the water thing. Let's see if I could just stick this underneath. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Hold on. This is not glued, y'all. Since we don't know if we want to do that. Hmm. I am in Virginia, Patty. Okay, so I don't here, okay, my opinion is I don't like the little berry things coming down. I mean it's cute. But what do you guys think? Should I leave those off and just do the bow with a little bit of the raffia up top like that? I'm going to get brown paint in this. I know I am. What do you guys think? And I do ship. Needless to say, if you're new coming on here, and if you want this, you know, you can private message me because I didn't set this up. Just the raffia? I think so, too. Not the raffia. Oh, jute. I keep saying raffia. I think I said it. I think it looks better without the berries. Hey, Marianne. How are you, Lydia? Try going. Wait a minute. Try it going out of the top. don't have this tied, remember, or glued. Stay. Maybe we can stick this in here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, 
Lydia? Something like that. I'm waiting for it to come up on the screen so I can see it too. Oh, yeah, I don't like it with the berries. I think just doing it and just like that. Put the berry. Whoop. But the berries would tie in. I know it would tie in with the letters. So here's the thing. If I put it, let me move this out of the way. If I do it like this, right? The letters with the berries kind of makes it more Christmassy. Right? But if people don't want to keep this up, and if this has, you know, because it has the berries, um, then the tree would be without anything on it, like meaning berries. It would give it more like every day. Would that be the words, I guess, to use? Slant it a little. How about it at the bottom? Well, I thought about doing, you know, just doing the bow, the rapier around here with the bow at the bottom. You wouldn't see it, but it would still tie in. So let's try that. We got the top idea. Let's try it at the bottom. And let's just see. Put you guys down. And I'll tie it close up to the tree, maybe. We'll see. Let's wrap this a couple of times around. Be like a Christmas present. Oopsie. I just stick this underneath here. Hi, Bobby. How are you? I would add the berries and it gives it more pop. I know the berries do give it a pop of color. I don't disagree with that. All right, I'm going to put the berries in on the side just because I can't thread it through because they're too big. So. For instance, if I just do it just like that, that's what that will look like. Okay? Just plain like that. I don't have to use as many berries. Let's see if I can get, I can pull these two off. I'm going to lose that one anyway when I cut it. Let's see if this will work. Oh, is this what you were talking about being slanted, maybe? I just got it now, Pat. Something like that. What are the berries using? Okay, I got that. Hey, Lori. Maybe like that. Just a few berries. And they don't have to hang down straight, but just off to the side. I think, I think this, I like this. What do you guys think? I think that would look cute. Yeah, so see, I just, I was a little slow, Pat, when you said slant them off to the side. But I think that looks cute. It's just a little bit of pop of color. I don't know if I like the jute being up top here, but I do like it being down here. I debated about doing it before, but I was like, oh, maybe you wouldn't see it. It wouldn't look right. All right, so we got it. We got it, ladies. All right. So we're going to start that about there. We're going to leave a little bit of the black so you can see it up top. Look, I do the same thing. I put the finger on the wrong finger. Because I usually thread it this way. Now look, I change it up. Okay. All right, here we go. No turning back now. <laughs> I 
And I don't need, I think I did seven around there. I don't need that much around this. Just because this is just a shorter base. And we're going to bring that back. It's not going to go all the way around. And let's cut it. And then get the happy finger out. Again, I put it on the wrong finger. All right. So these were the three we were going to use. So we're going to put those right like that. Okay. I'm going to make sure it wasn't longer, too long. some glue because this got bent jeepers okay we're getting it we're getting it yeah it is much better hey Bobby I don't know about the top I'm still on the fence about the top I'll be honest, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence, you guys. Bring the other one down in front. There we go. And glue strings. And there we go. the glue strings. I feel like I have spider webs all over me. So, okay, so earlier somebody said about doing it on top. So let's try something. If we do it at the top, and she, I think it was Patty saying an angle. Hey, Sandra. Right? Let's see if I can tuck this in. Goodness. Both the ones I want to tuck in. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So if we do it at the top, and we angled that one one way, maybe angling it a different, the opposite way. Use three. Okay. We're just going to stick these three in there just for an effect. Let me wire these, this one together with these two. Hold on. Okay. So she set it off to the side. So we angled it that way. What if we did, I don't think it's going to hold this way. You might see it more off to the side. Let's see if we can just stick it up here in the jute and see. Get the bow. Kind of the idea. Watch everything fall out. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, you're fine. You're fine, Sandra. So what do you think like that? One going one way and one going the other way? Off to the side like that? Hey, Janice, how are you? What do you guys think? 
I like the berries on top. So you like it that I, I I will admit I didn't like them hanging down the middle or sticking straight up. I like it off to the side like that. And I, I do like it that they're opposites. I I do I like it this way too. It's just a little gives a little color up at the top and a little at the bottom. I do like it off to the side like that. I do, I do, I do. I sound like the Coward Lion from The Wizard of Oz. Alright, so I'm just going to bring it a little further down and work my yarn, my yarn, my jute going up. Let's see if I can get the right finger on. Well, maybe I'll go top down. Okay. Let's go for it. Oop. See, wrong finger again. All right. Let's bring it around. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Get our little berry friends. Got to remember to put it the opposite side. See, you guys have good ideas. And that's why I like working with you guys. Sometimes we get stuck, and I was like, oh, going back and forth. I pulled all this stuff out, and I was just like, how do I want to put it? And you guys had some great ideas. Yes, balance. Claudia. I am in Springfield, Virginia. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Bobby. Did you use ribbon on there? Black and white? No, this is napkins. I decoupaged it. You can paint it. Um, where'd my bow go? Um, if you want, I chose to do something a little funky. I don't do decoupage really that much. Used to always do things like it and you know, you go through phases with things and um, stop doing it. And I just thought this would look really cute with some black and white plaid. All right. Oops. Get my little, little part of my tail down there more. Here we go. Oh, I do like it, y'all. I do, I do, I do. I can bring the berries more in this way if I want to. I'm doing it upside down and backwards. Ah, oh, thank you. No, this is this is decoupaged um, napkins. We did it on here. Look at that. So see how cute that is? So yeah, you you may, depending how you set this up as a whole thing, and like I said, you may have it where, let's say you have a mantle, oh, as I knock everything down, okay? You may have the tree off to the side, and you may want to start, good God, I have a bump in here too, y'all. Start the words, you know, maybe coming from here, and I like to stagger them. I don't like it to be all... Um, straight across I'm trying to get it so you can, can kind of see it so that would look so cute I'm going to move it in just a little bit so you can see hopefully all the letters so whether you want to put the star in the front or the back but I thought look how cute that's going to be how did you do the logo on the bottom of the screen <laughs> Patty, my son did it for me. I have no clue how he did it. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, this came out really cute, though. I like it, I like it, I like it. No, oh, you guys helped me out. Yay. I do like it. This will be available in my Etsy shop. Um, 
I will have to go decorate, but what I'll do is put a Facebook picture and I'll say the word joy on it. Isn't it cute? And I got another one to do. I have the other tree to do. And then um, I'll show you. Now we're going to take the tree away. Those of you that are just coming on, let me just put them down here. Oops. I knew I was going to spill that water. I knew it was going to happen, and I just did. Hold on. Paper towels. Paper towels. Hold, please. Okay. So this is the other ones that I'm working on. Ugh. Listen, this is why we call it known as Nutty Crafts, because this Nona always makes a mess. No matter how hard I try <laughs> not to. All right, so, so where's my other, where's my other leaf? It's over here. So I did these. Let me get another piece of paper towel here because it's still wet. There we go. Move you over there. Maybe I won't knock that over. All right. So this is going to be the word fall. And I did it in two different ways. Now I've got to do raffia up top here. And I have um, leaves that we're going to put. So however you want to stagger these. Okay. So I did the, this again is with the napkin. Okay. And this one um, says give thanks in all you do is what that says. And I did it. I didn't want to do it standing up. I wanted it like the leaf had fallen, you know, kind of thing. And I'll put Raffi on this in a little, um, whatchamacallit. Leaf. That's hard. Then I also did, so that's one. Then I also did it in orange, and I used just leaves. So again, it's like the leaves have fallen. You can turn this, once I decide what, I think I'm going to do it this way. Um, where's my other L? So that, oops, can you guys see it? Wait, wait for it. It's a coming. So move everything this way. <laughs> so you guys can see. So I have the word fall. Now these I already had, the green and the orange already posted and they sold really quick. So I went ahead and I'm doing another set. Now you could do it like where the leaf is falling like this, you know, too, if you want to. Um, I This is more the base of it. I didn't want it to be too wonky, you know, upside down or anything. So, But I do like it if it's just a little bit tilted like that um, for the letter A. But these are the other ones that I'm working on. Uh, let me go back. Love it, love it, love it. Hi, Sale. Cecile, did you get the wrong words in the stars? No, I did not. Um, the the words I found the words at Hobby Lobby. Um, they come with a set. I painted it. I rusted it up and everything to do it. Um, you may find somebody that can do it. Um, your craft store do sell like letters um, that are already done, and you can make up your own words. Um, you can get them bigger. They have all different types. Um, so keep that in mind. Hi June, hi Karen. But this is, you know, one that I did. Yeah, these are really pretty. And here I go ahead and what I do is I do the jute around here with the bow. And I take, I had to go get more leaves. Now each color, no, this is the one that I used. Hold on. I take a little leaf on this one. And I did two colors on this one. I got a these are different sizes. Here we are. And I put two leaves like that up on the words with the jute around and then the bow, just like we did on the joy. And that's what I did for these. Now, the darker ones, 
because these are a little darker, I don't use the dark green. I like using this as a pop of color and I would Either way, I could put it either way. I think I did it this way. Two leaves, like that. So, um, or I could do it with this one, with the darker one. And I just kind of overlap them, whichever way I want to do it. And it just gives a little, you know, because it's fall, the leaves are falling, hello. <laughs> So that's what I did with those. And these sold really quick for me. And um, in fact, one lady bought two sets. She bought one in the orange and one in the green for me. So um, like I said, these it was time consuming. That's why I hadn't been on lies because I was doing all this painting. You gotta do it in layers and sets and stuff like that. Let me sit back down. So, oops, chair. <laughs> so, um, it takes a while to do, um, and that's why I hadn't been on live. Hey, Robin, how are you? So, just a FYI, I love doing these. So, these will be posted right away. I have two sets of the green and one of the orange. I will have to do finish the one tree um, that we did earlier, because remember, we did this one as a decoupage, and we have to, I have to stew up the sand off the sides. And this is what I do with the sides. Let me move these out of the way. Because you know, you're going to hear a big bang. Something's going to fall on the floor. Now I can take the Dremel saw and I can do that. I'm going to cut this just a little bit more off if I can. And I usually just angle my scissors coming down the side because that's the awkward side of cutting. And then what I'll do is I'll just take a little sandpaper and I go down this way just to tear off the little piece that may be hanging down the side. I don't want to brush it this way because it's going to rip it all. And that's all that I do. And you can see I'm tearing it right. There's a little bit of an overhang here and I'm just going to tear it right down like that. Now the parts in here, what I do is I'll try to run my finger up in there and just kind of poke it up in there. Um, because I can't get in there and then when I after I've done that I can take the sandpaper Where's my little pokey thing? Got some paint stuck in here Poke that out Poke it through I should say And that way I can run the paper will just it will just kind of be right in there because I can't really sand it that good. And then because this isn't sanded, so I'll come back and I'll just do this to rough it up. And we haven't sanded the edges or anything on this one because we're working on the other one with y'all. But this is all I do. I used to say I don't sand on the paper. And I'll do the edges. I'll take this back outside and I'll do the edges on the, the Dremel. But you can see I like bringing some of that, the raw wood back up onto the surface so that when I stain it and everything like the other one, it gives it some depth to it. So, but this I got to take outside and do. <laughs> Go over here. So then I'll have two sets of that. So, there's a long one today with you guys. There's a long one. <laughs> Oops. Got in the water. Um. And then that's it. And then they'll be ready to go. So I will post in my Facebook page, um, my Etsy shop, if anybody is interested in these. It will have a Facebook picture. These I'll have listed already for you. Um, you know, I already have pictures um, of the fall ones and all that. So I'll have those pictures up for the orange and the green ones. But for the trees um, with the joy, it's just going to say the word joy and tree. And then um, you can go ahead if you want it purchase it that way too all right but i am getting ready i do have a show coming up next weekend um it's friday it'll be my second virtual live show so go on you guys it's joining go for it's free okay the virtual home decor marketplace 
go on and join it now if you're not already a member. Like I said, it's free because it may take her a little bit to get you guys in. And the show that I'm doing, it goes Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Every half an hour, there will be somebody new coming on. So I'm do I'm the first one on Friday to go. <laughs> and then it will go thereafter. I think it goes to like it's either nine or ten o'clock, and I'm talking Eastern time. Um, and then it will start back up on Saturday morning, go through to again the same time at night and Sunday, you know, etc. Once I get the um, the lineup and the times, um, I will post it. But I will let you know the times are going to say Central Time. So I live on the East Coast, so if it says six o'clock Central, it's actually seven o'clock Eastern Time. So you got to make sure you get on the right time zone. <laughs> Or you'll be popping in on somebody else's, which is okay. Because the videos, when we do them, it's actually a live live. So you're going to comment like sold and the number and put your email and zip code. And then um, if you miss like me or somebody else, you can always go back. Because those videos are going to stay up for probably a, a week or so. Um, and then you can come back and look and go through, you know, if you didn't. Because there's a lot of vendors. I think there's 50 um, people doing it this next weekend, I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm not the one in charge of it. I'm just being a part of it. Hey, Landon. Hey, Michelle. Um, Lady in. Did I say that right? Well, put the glasses on. Hi, G Gary. Where were you? Good dude. Look, okay, Gary. I've done this whole thing. I don't even know how long I've been on. And I never took a drink. Gary, where were you, dude? Where were you? <laughs> anyway, so um, I will post for that one. I will also post because the following week on Friday, I think it is again, Friday night, I will be doing Involved with a Live Marathon. And I'm in it. Um, Who else is it? Regina Sellers is doing it. Um, trying to remember Bob Cass from um, Bob's Country Creations, Diana Robinson's from um, Reads um, by Diane. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. There are, I don't know how many people are doing that. That one will run every hour. So I, you'll have to be surprised on what I bring <laughs> to that one. Um, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So I am a busy little person creating um, and that's why you haven't seen me and I feel so bad, but th this takes a lot. This takes a lot to do. So remember we did these little guy, this little guy today, right? Now his arms should be good so we can bend his arms up and do whatever with his little hands. So they're not sticking out wonky and he, he came out so cute. So he'll be up on my website too, on my Etsy page for sale. Um, we did him. I'm going to do with you, not today, but we're going to work on these guys. The little snowman ornaments that we're going to do. We got the words and joy done, right? And I'm going to tell you when I can do these all with you. I got this. Got to redo. This is, we got to redo this. This is not what I want it to be. Um, that, I, I have a lot. Oh, here's our, I was like, I know we did something else today. And there's the angel that we did today. So we did a lot of things today. A lot of crafty things today with y'all. Oh. So what I'm going to do. Thank you, Gary. What I'm going to do here, guys. Um, I am going to say thanks for coming to Nona's Nutty Crafts. I know it was a long day. I know I showed you a bunch of different things I've been working on. And until I see you again, all right? So you guys have a nice, what's today, Friday? Have a nice Friday. And I'll see you next time on Known as Nutty Crafts. And hey, guys, hit that little notification button. And also hit that L-I-K-E button. And send your friends and do that bless my page, float my boat, send the glitter my way kind of thing too. Because I want to hit 5,000, please. <laughs> Got to, you know, what am I up to? 4,300 something. It's a lot, but we're getting there. We're getting there. All right? So I'll see you next time on Known as Nutty Crafts.
Bye.